Hello, I'm Noel Capon. Welcome to Chapter 17 of your marketing textbook, Managing Services, Customer Service, and Customer Relationship Management. Thus far in the book, we've been fairly loose with our definition of, of a product. Um, we've really treated that to mean products and services uh, sort of indistinguishably. But in this chapter, we separate out products from services and customer service. Uh, this is an increasingly important distinction and services as you may know are the largest part of most advanced economies and often uh, one of the fastest growing areas. We start the chapter by talking about some of the special characteristics of services like intangibility, inseparability, uh, variability, divisibility, uh, lack of acquisition, and the role of customers. And we show how these characteristics mean that the firm must think about services in a very different way than it thinks about physical products. Service quality is an important issue for service firms and we develop a diagnostic model for analyzing service quality and show how the firm can use this model to measure, manage, and improve its service quality performance. We then move to discussing customer service and show how the firm can deliver customer service before the purchase, during the purchase, and after the purchase, and give some insight into different ways of delivering to customers exceptional customer service. We conclude by discussing customer relationship management and show how very important it is to figure out who in the organization has control of the customer database. Finally, we consider loyalty programs and discuss some of the design factors that the firm should consider in developing loyalty programs for its products and services. This chapter covers a lot of ground, but it will give you a firm foundation in dealing with what is becoming, indeed has become, a critical area for marketing. As you read this chapter, it might be helpful for you to jot down two service encounters. One service encounter that you viewed as positive, and one service encounter that you viewed as negative. And try to differentially diagnose, figure out what made the one positive and the other negative. I think if you do that, that will give you even greater insight into this whole service issue. Good luck.